Hey everyone. So um, I, I recently had this crazy thing happen to me. Um, I got this condition on my face called Bell's palsy. Uh, I didn't know what this was. I think, uh, it, and it's where you, and I still have it. And it's like, you lose the feeling in part of your face. Like I can't whistle, I can't totally smile. And I look a little different. Um, this thing, turns out just comes on. It happened about a week ago and probably cause I was super busy and stressed out and all the things, you know, you get your immune system gets weak and you get like a, you just get like a head cold, but because of that infection, it pinches the, the there's swelling and it pinches the nerve and it, it makes uh, you lose the feeling. And I, I think hopefully most likely, everything comes back to normal. And this isn't so bad. I mean, I've seen people get this where their whole face drops and, but regardless, it's, it's been challenging. Um, when these things happen, I don't get sick very often and, or have something like this. So, uh, you know, and it's interesting. It's like, ah, oh, you, you, and I'm so visual and my eyes kind of dry and I'm trying to paint. And I can't see. And I, I do these things where I talk in front of videos and I'm not going to look normal. And I, and people notice this, actually people noticed this before I even knew about it because my eye was kind of squinting. So that's how I kind of found out about it. Someone commented <laughs> it's, it's looks like you're having a stroke, but I'm not. So anyway, and I'm doing all the things to make it get better that I can, but it can take a few months to get better. Anyway, um, but this thing has been hard. And, and I think, you know, it's like, uh, this happened to me, this thing came out of the world and like bonked me and, 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 and it hit me. And, and I was trying to remember, it's like, th those are always hard, <laughs> you know, and I'm, I'm relating this back to art making because I have felt this way before, um, in different, when it's been hard, when my art is, uh, kind of, I don't feel like I'm in control. Like this thing is just something that happened to me and I can't control it. And I've, I've had patches in my art making where it's like that, like nobody's buying my art or I, I am not, I don't have time to in my life to do this, this thing. And it's like, you get going down that sort of, it's not a victim necessarily, but it's not a very empowered way to approach things. And, this happens because hard stuff happens, but art, again, it's such a great teacher because there's these three modalities of, of, you know, of being where you think of your life and you think of, and it relates to art making that things can happen to you in your life. Right. And, and, and we're just walking around <laughs> and things are happening to us. We're just being knocked around. Right. And, and, this is how art making is for a lot of people, especially when they begin, it, it feels really out of reach. And there's a, there's a lot of comparison and a lot of externalities that get in the way and a lot of internal limiting beliefs that stop us that, you know, I don't have time or no one's going to appreciate this, or no one thinks I have, my parents didn't think I had talent or whatever the things are. And, and then we get over that. And because it's, it's not a good place to be, believe me, because I've been feeling this way with this thing that I've had, it's so visible. And I'm, every time I look in the mirror and, and then there's this, the next sort of shift is this thing that life's like, you can control your life. <laughs> you know, I can make this happen. I'll, I'll work really hard. I'll, 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 I'll do all the art things. I'll promote myself. I'll get online. I'll do. And, and, you know, if I study really hard and I do everything that, I can turn this thing around and, and, and that's a more empowered way to be for sure. And that's life by you, right? There's like things happen to you, your life created by the, it's happening to you or a life that's created by you. And that that's pretty good, but that is sort of, and I I'm, I'm in that a lot and I work really hard. And part of this is cause I've been like trying to like white knuckle it and do everything and, and, and work really, really hard. And that's okay, but it's not, it's not really the greatest way to be. <laughs> and it's not the greatest way to make art because it's stressful and it's, 
and you're trying to control everything. It's like trying to control an outcome of a painting. It's just not gonna feel like you'll do it and maybe it'll be okay, but it's not the kind of work that we make when it just all falls together and it's like, oh, that was easy. And that's the third way. And that's life through you. That's life when you're channeling uh, what you love and what matters to you and letting it come through you instead of trying to force everything. Like maybe it's okay to like listen and not try so hard and just stop making art for a while and find another way that feels more aligned and easier, that feels more like you. So it's really creating art through you, based on you, double downing on that. So it really, really, um, it's flow state. That's flow state. You're flowing with the creativity inside of you and you're flowing with a bigger sense of the world, the universe, using the energy that is around you, within you to make your art. And, and that's the kind of art that is actually the most powerful. It's the most personal and oddly, in a way, the easiest to make. Anyway, so I just, I, I don't know if this, if you can follow that thread, but I, I think it's really interesting, these three ways of, of doing things. And, and, and this third way of finding, finding your way and creating your life through your art, making your art come through you more and more and more. It's super powerful. So anyway, it's, a, it's an odd post, but I wanted to, I wanted to bring this, I want to use this thing that I'm going through. It's like I've been thinking about it so much. So I'd love to hear um, if you have experience with this idea, the different ways where it's felt resistance and where making your art or when it's felt super, super easy. I would love to hear how you describe that. Like what are the things that have made it so when you're in flow, when it's just coming out and it's easier because there's lots of ways to do this. And the longer we can be in that, the better it becomes for our art and our life. You guys, thanks so much for being here and um, go ahead and leave a comment. Also for anyone who's new here, we have an amazing Facebook group. Um, it's free, artists from all over the world and they're doing, it's just incredible, all the stuff that's being made. So you're invited, um, come along, check it out. Thanks again, okay, great. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.